Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technology Advocacy here at Cohesity. Hi, I'm Doug Coe and I'm Director of Product Marketing for our Cloud Products and Services. So today, we're going to talk to you about how you could use Cohesity in a hybrid cloud environment. So, Teresa, I know hybrid cloud's been around for a while. What's the current state of affairs? Yeah, the state of the union is pretty interesting on this. So Flexera did some research mm. and found that 82% of organizations are set up leveraging hybrid cloud. Okay. And so what that really means is that in addition to their on-prem infrastructure, they are leveraging software as a service like M365 or Salesforce, or they might even be running workloads um, in Azure or AWS or GCP from an infrastructure perspective to get VMs um, out there. So things have changed a lot and the landscape I think will continue to change, but it poses some issues, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it sounds like there's a lot of things going on, so I'm guessing it must have a bunch of challenges you need to deal with. For sure, so one of the first things is silos. So enterprise data is now on-prem in SaaS, uh, running out in the cloud as a whole with all these, these different uh, back-end platforms. And so that means there's different tool sets that are being used, possibly even different scripts. And so that in itself is, is a challenge, but also consider backups. Mm -hmm. So from a backup perspective, it's the same breakdown. What you're using on-prem might be different here, um, et cetera. So that brings on complexity. So admins today are now forced to learn mm -hmm. different tools. Um, and like VMware vSphere might have something different than um, what M3, what's going on in M365. And then the other challenge is data mobility. So from a data mobility perspective, think about if I am running on-prem VMs and I want to mm. convert them to virtual machines in the cloud, the tool sets I would need to use that would uh, be different than if I were trying to migrate virtual machines from like say cloud to cloud, one cloud to another, for okay. example. Or what if I needed to archive my data or replicate my data to another cloud? If you have all different types of, of tools and, and backend management platforms, that's really complicated. So, Doug, do you want to talk a little bit about how Cohesity can help solve some of these challenges? Yeah, no, absolutely, Teresa. I think you, you hit it on, on the head, right? Silos, complexity, mobility. We're really trying to solve this with Cohesity by first starting with a single unified platform for all your data in your data estate. So this means that you could run uh, Cohesity software, right, on premises and have that protect your data there. You could run Cohesity in the cloud and have that protect your cloud data as well. And you also have the option, right, to have Cohesity managed for you in an as a service or SaaS model. So, you know, this gives you the ability to have a single platform for all your data, but we also give you a single unified user interface. Mm -hmm. So with Cohesity, you have a single UI that you can see and manage all your data across your hybrid state. So what that allows you to do is unify all your hybrid data sources. So again, whether it's M365, whether it's VMware or your files, you, know, you have all that data consolidated on our platform and it gives you unified uh, hybrid operations because you're able to manage and see all your data across your estate. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. So let's dive into some of the use cases mm -hmm. uh, by way of customer. So not that long ago, customers were mainly on-prem. And so the first use case I wanna talk about is just protecting your on-prem workloads like your files, databases, VMs to on-prem. That's a pretty common one. Um, also similar from an edge perspective, same uh, protection concept. Now the other uh, workload, the next one I want to talk about is where organizations need to take those on-prem workloads and protect them over on a cloud. Mm. Um, so in terms of protecting them uh, in the cloud, some of the, the reasons to do that would be to make sure that you have an off-site copy of data. Mm. 
Um, legal and compliance reasons also uh, are very, very strong um, from that perspective. Now, the next use case is cloud to cloud. So if you're running as a service, anything, you may need to protect that also in another cloud. So when I think about if I have AWS workloads, it could be that offsite in that case is another cloud. So that same legal and compliance uh, use case is, is pretty common there. The other side of that though is mm -hmm. getting out of the infrastructure business. You might not want to manage right. uh, the back end on that uh, by way of leveraging software as a service. And then the last use case I want to talk about is cloud to on-prem. So sometimes organizations don't want to stay in the cloud. Okay. And so if you have cloud workloads that you need to migrate back on-prem, you can or mergers and acquisitions happen as well. So that might be another driving force to make some changes. And mm -hmm. we give that flexibility, right, regardless of the use case. So Doug, with that, do you wanna go ahead and kind of wrap up and round up those benefits? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, as you can see, you know, hybrid is definitely a lot of things going on, but the goal with Cohesity is, is really to help you simplify your hybrid cloud data management. And we do that, as I mentioned, giving you a single platform for all your data and a single UI to manage it. So that's gonna really help you simplify your operations. Second, and I think just as important is, we're gonna enable you to better meet your SLAs. And that's because you have the capability now to back up your data where you need it to be. So if you need your data close by to have fast recovery times, mm -hmm. right, you could do that. If you need to store your data outside of the cloud beyond some of the standard limits that they provide, for example, having a longer data retention period uh, for months or years, you have that yeah. option too. So really giving you that flexibility. And that's, that's really where we end up with, with Cohesity, is a solution that's flexible, right, to meet your needs, deploy it where you need to, have both a self-managed model and uh, as a service model, and that will help you ultimately better manage your data across your hybrid data estate.